And we are back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for another jam-packed daily cryptocurrency market update. I'm wishing you all a fabulous Thursday. And as always, we have a lot to get into. If you are new to this channel and finding yourself on my videos for the first time today, don't forget to check out that subscribe button because we drop an update just like this one around 1 p.m. UK time every single day to help you guys stay up to date with the latest and greatest things happening within the crypto space, but also the broader markets. That's exactly what we're going to be doing in this video. We are going to be starting the video off with some clips of the former US President Donald Trump talking about his stance on crypto. And of course, he is coming out very crypto friendly. So I know how people get. I think Trump is a very polarizing figure. So a trigger warning for some of you out there, um, right or wrongly, I'm not here to judge. Um, but we are going to be playing a clip of Donald Trump, a couple of clips of Donald Trump actually talking about crypto and talking about his approach to it. I think he actually had um, one of the founders of Mazari, which is a crypto analytics firm, actually come up on stage yesterday and, and, and give a few words. So he's coming out very pro crypto. Of course, this largely is a uh, popularity move. Of course it is. This is how politics work. Um, but he's doing a good job of it, actually. And I think he is going to win a lot of crypto voters. And crypto has been a real topic of discussion for voting. You've seen people like Robert Kennedy come out in, in favor of it. I've seen lots of people actually, um, there's, a, there's been a few come out and kind of say, you know, they're, they're very pro Bitcoin, they're very pro this, that and the other. Uh, and it's really just a popularity ploy. These people say whatever um, it is they need to, to get elected, uh, whether they perhaps believe in it or not. So we are going to be uh, looking at that. I, I personally think Trump stands a very good chance of winning in 2024. Um, I think he's a lot more popular than people would have you believe. Uh, and certainly I'm uh, quite liking what he's saying in regards to crypto. Then we're going to be going over to some FTX news. And sorry if that offends anybody, but you're allowed to have an opinion. That's just my opinion. It might be wrong. Who cares? Um, then we're going to be going over to some FTX news in regards to their bankruptcy filing. So it looks like they have managed to recoup the vast majority of funds that were lost and they're going to be paying credits back. Now, this is amazing. I know friends of mine, good, good friends of mine that I trade alongside that lost six figures in the FTX collapse. And it looks like they're going to be making people whole. I wonder how this is then going to affect Sam Bankman fried I personally think they're going to let him out a lot sooner than what they've already done because I think he was a Trojan horse uh, that was enabled by the powers that be, the international banking cartel, to essentially um, bring enforcement on the cryptocurrency market and kind of constrain it. Um, so we will be looking at that. We'll be looking at the total two, which is the most important chart for me. Uh, this is a bull market, ladies and gentlemen. And actually, we've looked at a number of different indexes from a number of different countries. And we've also looked at things like gold number of different assets, they're all pointing in the same direction. And all that is going to come on the back end of the proliferation of the fiat systems. Okay. Um, and the continued proliferation of the fiat system. This is the great game that is played on all of us. It is a total scam. Inflation is a taxation on everyone. Uh, and you don't get any kind of compensation from it. So we're going to be looking at the total two. We'll be talking about gold because you're seeing lots of gold's never been bought in the manner that it has. Um, it's, it's just unbelievable what's going on with central banks. We're getting news that gold bars are selling like hotcakes in careers, convenience stores, and vending machines. You definitely couldn't have gold bars in convenience stores and vending machines in the UK because you'd have people with mopeds ram raiding them and basically stealing them. Same thing in the US. Um, so Korea that sounds actually quite safe if they've got these gold bars just hanging around in these vending machines and, and, and convenience stores. I mean, imagine that in the UK, just as a little side note. And then, of course, I think it was Sweden that lowered rates yesterday. Switzerland have already done that. Uh, Bank of England are setting to hold rates. Uh, Europe's central bank is diverging from the Fed. And I've said this, I actually think that Europe could diverge faster than the, or, or you could have other central banks coming off interest rates faster than the Fed. We've got a lot to get into. Let's dive into it all. Uh, let's start off with a clip from Donald Trump. They are against it. The Biden, uh, Biden doesn't even know what it is. If you ask Biden, <laughs> sir, are you for or against crypto? What's that? What the? Get me off the stage. <laughs> He's saying, get me off the stage. No, he has no idea. But hey, look, Gensler is very much against it. The Democrats are very much against it. And I say this, uh, a lot of people are very much for it. Probably a lot of the people in this group. Uh, and I'm fine with it. I want to make sure it's good and solid and everything else, but I'm good with it. And uh, if you want, if you like crypto in any form, and it comes in a lot of different forms, if you're uh, in favor of crypto, you better vote for Trump. They are so I think there's quite a few options, um, not just Trump. I'm trying to be as, as non-biased as possible here. Um, but he, you know, he's saying the right things. And, and, and the Biden administration, whether you like it or not, is very much against crypto. Um, 
certainly with Gensler, you know, he mentioned Gensler there. He was then asked, what is he going to do in regards to keeping crypto people in the country? Uh, let's play that clip and then we're going to move on. For the statement, yeah, with the goggles on. Uh, a lot of the smartest people in crypto are moving their businesses out of the U.S. because they're scared of like uh, the U.S.'s regulations. Because of the hostility. Correct. Yeah, crypto is moving out of the U.S. because of hostility toward crypto. Correct. So what are you going to do to stop it? Well, we'll stop it because I don't want that. I don't want that. I want that. If we're going to embrace it, we have to let them be here. Yes, sir. Very interesting. So I believe that this is just a regulatory hump. The cryptocurrency space will get favorable regulations and be allowed to become the asset class that we all know it is. Also, Donald Trump announced that he's now accepting presidential uh, campaign donations in cryptocurrency. I think Congress actually voted against something the SEC was trying to do in regards to Bitcoin and, and large companies. Uh, you know, be happy. It's such an exciting time to be alive, ladies and gentlemen. It's such an exciting time to be in the cryptocurrency space. And I always say this to people, you know, I have a large Patreon at this point of people who uh, sort of follow along with my portfolio. It's totally on a non-advisory basis. I just share some some deeper insights into what I'm doing, the sectors I'm after. Please do check the link out and join. It's £30 a month. Very reasonable. Ask for what you get. Um, and I always say this, be happy. You, there's such an amazing opportunity. There's so much going on in the world right now. You know, I always get asked if I could go anywhere in time, where would it be? And I would say right now, because it's just, you know, just be happy. Um, let's move on to a little bit of FTX news. FTX bankruptcy almost across the finish line. Some creditors could see 142% off their claims paid back. The end is in sight. There's some good news for creditors in joint... Um, Reorganization plans filed late Tuesday by FTX bankruptcy overseers. FTX says it has collected $14.5 billion and 13 point... Uh, see how I got that mixed up there, the dyslexic in me, because there's a three, and I'm putting the three in front of the six. Amazing. So it's $16.3 billion in cash, and it's ready to distribute, the, distribute those uh, funds to creditors. It owes customers and other creditors around $11 billion. And FTX says that 98% of its non-government creditors will receive at least 118% uh, of their claims in cash within two months of the plan being approved. Non-government. So there was government creditors? Mm, interesting. Very interesting. Certainly who is rubbing shoulders with. Uh, some, including crypto and loan creditors, could see up to 142% of their claims paid back, according to the court filing. So this is great news. Um, certainly for anybody that got caught up in the FTX case, do stay up to date with it. We will keep you uh, on that trail. Let's talk some charts. So this is the most important chart for me. We have so much success with this exact pattern. Um, I think it was even the DAX that recently made our, which is a, a totally non, can you see this? This recently made our target from all the way down here based on inverse head and shoulders. Bitcoin's done it. We have so much success. I believe Turtle 2 is going to play it in a similar manner over time. It's got a long time to play out, but I think this is going to see the market get to $3.7 trillion. Some of your altcoins that are currently in the one, two, potentially hundreds of millions could end up in the hundreds of billions. And it's about finding them and being on that trend. We just started our one to 100x challenge. Still plenty of time to get in on it. Those altcoins are still relatively cheap. Some are up 40, 50% already, or one is. But do get on board with that. The opportunity is still there. Um, but I genuinely think crypto's, it's, it's gone through a pullback. We've looked at the macro reasons behind it. I think this resolves itself. And actually, Willie, we was highlighting that you've never seen the kind of buying over the past two months from high net worth Bitcoin individuals in terms of accumulation than you have over this period. And I ultimately do think this is going to result in upside. It's kind of flag-esque. Um, it's not a perfect flag. It's quite a heavy leaning flag. But I would like to see this get resolved to the upside. A little bit of macro news. We have gold bars are selling like hotcakes in careers, convenience stores, and vending machines. Again, I just, I laugh at this. Could you imagine in the UK? I come from the UK's second largest city. There would, your convenience stores would be getting hit every single day if, you, if, if people knew they were gold bars in there. I mean, it's just crazy. The UK is the UK, you know, and America's similar -ish, Um, I guess, not to certain parts, like everywhere. But, you know, I'm not, not, I just think that the UK is a bit of a, crazy place right now but um um aside from rampant uh, ramen and sausages south korea's convenience stores have a new popular item on the menu gold bars a variety of uh fingernail sized gold bars weighing between 0 0.1 grams to 1.87 grams 
have been up for sale at CU outlets since the start of April. People in their 30s were most active in purchasing these gold bars. We're seeing this across the board. And when we look at gold, and this is one reason why we're bullish on the cryptocurrency space, and it's been technically following exactly what we set out for it, and I think silver is going to be an outperformer, but we're not going to go into it. We have covered that previously. This is making its way towards our head and shoulders target. I think you're going to end up with gold in the 3,000 sort of range, 3,500 sort of range. What's Bitcoin going to do, which is an uptrend against gold in that environment? And we've shown all this technically. It's not just Bitcoin in an uptrend. This has been a beautiful technical chart for us. This pullback will come to an end. And we've got a number of targets above us. It's also a total toe, which is, for me, as an altcoin guy, or a shitcoin guy, kind of, I'm a shitcoin guy, I guess. Um, total two is in a beautiful uptrend as well. Textbook break, retest. You're going to see further continuation. Uh, also, a little bit of news. Bank of England um, set to hold rates as Europe's central bank diverges from the Fed. The Bank of England is set to hold interest rates steady at its Thursday meeting. And we can see Bank of England hold rates steadies, but signals that cuts are coming. I fell out with a mortgage broker, a friend of mine, who was saying, yeah, because I... You know, I've got lots of friends that have mortgages and they're all like, oh shit, we should probably fix right now because it's going to be cheaper. And I'm saying, why would you do that? They're going to bring interest rates down. And the guy's going, no, how do you know that? And I'm going, because I'm a technical trader. You can get things from the charts that you can't get from the news. Um, so UK headline inflation is set to drop rapidly in April and pile pressure on the BOE to start cutting rates, support the sluggish economy. So I also think you're going to have a rallies in houses. I think you are looking at one of the biggest asset runs potentially in history because of where the debt system's at. This is why all these indexes are at highs. Ladies and gents, I don't want to waste any more of your time. Hopefully you've enjoyed this one. I certainly have enjoyed presenting it to you. Don't forget to become a subscriber. Check out the Patreon if you want. On that note, I'm going to love and leave you. Let me know what you think about what we've discussed in this content uh, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next.